What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about another successful Fallout story. And, you know, look, big fan here of the TV show. We did a review a few days ago on the channel. I like it, and I've said before, and this is a theme of this video and what we're really talking about, the show worked on a multitude of levels. And one of them is, I think, re-engaging people with the franchise. When a show tends to, like, do well... Normally, it can be reflected elsewhere as well, right? You can look at the streaming numbers or whatever, but maybe you look at the game sales. You look at uh, the peak concurrent player base, right? Maybe people have already that own the game. And you've seen it in the last little while that sometimes shows can, you know, it should happen. It's a sign, I think, of maybe shows that respect the source material a little bit more or, I don't know, it, it reinvigorates something inside of you to rediscover or discover for the first time if you've never done it, right? The games. And, you know, I think like The Last of Us did this. And Sony kind of timed it well because you had The Last of Us 1 remake, which, you know, you could debate how necessary it was, but they knew what they were doing, right? They were going to line it up with the show, and it really, really worked. And I think it got people to buy these games. So, okay, you jumped to Fallout, and what are we here to talk about? Well, one thing that we've seen really ever since the show launched a week ago, right, is the concurrent players jumping. Uh, you have New Vegas off the charts, you have Fallout 4 off the charts, and Fallout 4 sales wise we're going to talk about in a second and you also have fallout 76 which i think almost hit 40k uh, 40 000, right people playing concurrently now look i am no fallout 76 fan um you know and i i'm a general fan of fallout i wouldn't call myself a like a diehard to me it's it's new vegas and three and i think new vegas is my personal favorite one i never actually jived all that well with uh, fallout 4 and i definitely think now is the time to like, like re-experience these games um because i think i'm just maybe more into it now but you know 76 I, I can't come out here and say oh yeah the game is just this masterpiece I didn't like it when I played it when it first launched a lot of people didn't like it but regardless of the quality of of three four New Vegas and and 76 right honestly regardless of it this is what you should see this is the sign this is a sign and maybe the sign that this show is successful beyond just the show and I've said it before like when you make these shows like you should be doing, I think Todd Howard has talked about this too, like it should be a clever idea. It should be something that fits into the lore. It should be something that kind of adds to the story. It should, get, it should be something that gets people excited about the property. Maybe not even just the show, just get people to get excited about Fallout again, right? And I would say like Twisted Metal honestly did that. I played Twisted Metal 1 and 2 around the time, actually right after. Um, well, I think 1 was right before. Twisted Metal 1 I think I played right before the show, and then 2 I played right after. But, like, watching the show is like, you know, I, I kind of want to play. I've never played, you know, those early games. So it's like, let's try them out. One show that, you know, I've talked about here and there uh, in terms of this kind of impact, right? Halo. That's Now, this didn't work. Um, and I think it's because of the quality. I think this is... It's an eye test almost, and it's a simple one, and it maybe isn't like, you know, perfect for sure, right? But just a simple kind of blanket eye test where the show is not good. Uh, I, I reviewed every episode of season one, hated it. Season two started really good, and I think the first four episodes, maybe five, were really good. And then it just fell off a cliff, and I think it became like bad again. But regardless, you know, it didn't – I don't think it worked because you look at the games. Did you, did you see this? You know what I mean? For that show, there was a lot more divisiveness. There were people that liked it, I guess, kind of throughout, but it never felt like all that many people, and there's a lot more – fighting you know for fallout it's a lot of like new vegas elitist versus like fallout 4 elitist you know this kind of like infighting in the fallout uh fandom but the show i feel like is doing well halo we don't actually even know how well halo season 2 i think even did and again like i think just the quality is not as good so you don't really see these things reflected on the games you don't see halo reach all of a sudden like just jump out and do insane whether it's sales or whatever right you don't see i don't know halo infinite like halo Halo Infinite's multiplayer had a little redemption story and then kind of fell off again. So, but I really think that was separate from the show. I don't think the show really affected it much. You know what I mean? For Fallout, direct correlation between concurrent player bases just jumping into the, into the skies, right? Uh, right around the time and because of 
the TV show. And, you know, I mentioned sales, and you have, you know, Fallout 4 right now is number one in the in the sales charts for uh, Europe. And you also have other Fallout games joining it as well, New Vegas and 76. The sales specifically in Europe were over 7,500%. Now, okay, look. If, if last week or last month, right, the game sold like 200 copies, uh, 7,500, like you're not talking about this game suddenly selling like 2 million units. You know what I mean? So I want to kind of keep it um, like understandable. I'm not trying – this is not like a clickbait like, oh, my God, like, you know, Fallout all of a sudden has uh, 10 million new players. 76 is still not good. Sorry to break it. You know, and that's my own personal opinion. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep things in perspective. Um, it's not like these games are doing outrageous. But, I mean, they are, I think, all things considered. You know, these are games that uh, specifically maybe three, New Vegas, four – People really like, right? And they always have like their, um, they always have their mark on gaming history. But you know, you you put it down, and there's not too many people playing them concurrently at any given point ever, right? It's just not that kind of thing, especially this long after. But it's doing really well, and you have maybe five thousand here, ten thousand here, thirty thousand here. Good chunk of players, and you know, even the sales. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's sold like ten thousand units in the past uh, week, right? Fallout Four still pretty good if it sold say like a hundred or two you know the, the week before you know so it's not doing unbelievable it's not gonna beat hell divers for like the month in sales right but it's cool to see these stories and again to my point that i've i've tried to make over the, the the last week really ever since the show came out this is what i think these shows should try to do and the movies you know when we get a bioshock movie or all this stuff and i've talked about uh, on podcasts now on my main channel we looked at, I think a few days ago, all these movies and all these TV shows of adaptations. They're not all going to work. Many of them are going to fail because they they don't have the talent. Maybe they don't have the respect of the franchise that they need to have, I think, to make this work. But I think each and every one of them, the goal should be this. The goal, and like I said in the beginning of the video, the goal, I believe, is to just get people into the brand. Excited. Re-excited, right? Re-engaged. That's the whole goal. If you're not doing that, if you're adding something, yeah, but then you watch it and you leave. And it doesn't make you crave it. You know what I mean? Halo, you watch, at least me. I watched Halo. Again, I had fun, actually, with the first four episodes. I thought they were legitimately good. And then it fell apart. It didn't make me turn around and say, not, okay, maybe it did in a way, but it was almost like to, to rinse my mouth out, right? It was like, okay, well, you got to you gotta rinse out the, the bad taste of the show, and you got to play the game. And honestly, I didn't actually have that. It was like, well, I watched and I'm done. Some people maybe would have that reaction I just said, but very few, I feel like, would be like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm so into Halo now. Like, I'm feeling it. Uh, it complements all of the stuff that we already have. Let's go experience that stuff to add to the show. Nobody's really doing that. With the Fallout show, I believe it's, oh, that show added quite a bit. It gave context. It added new stories. It re-brought people into that universe. And it works as a complement to the games. And the games, honestly, in the same kind of way, would work as a complement to the show. So now people are going back into the games. That's exactly, I believe, what you want. And I think things like Uncharted didn't do that. I think things like uh, Halo didn't do that. Twisted Metal is kind of hard to prove because all the games are so old, there's no charts really to kind of back that up, right? Um, so, you know, maybe they're on a positive trend. We'll have to see. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure, as always, you're subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on. I hope to see you all on the next one.